Hi, this is Mark Laughlin speaking for the Ambidextra Gun Fighter. We're going to look at the Mantis X10 Elite. This is a, a terrific little uh, dry fire and live fire training aid. Works on uh, firearms, uh, pistols, rifles, um, airsoft, and uh, can work with live ammo or dry firing. Basically, the the core piece of this is this little device right here, which mounts on, for most applications, is going to mount on your pick rail. Now, of course, first we'll start off, we'll do a quick little chamber check. Bolt face is clear, mag's empty and clear. I'm actually going to go ahead and insert, because I like to run this with a training laser. I think a training laser combined with the Mantis X10 Elite is ideal little training laser so every time you fire you can see where the hit is now this uh, device can be mounted on uh, anywhere on a pick rail it can be mounted forward or backward forward is with the where this little uh, released tab is at that's the forward end the backwards end is the rear end is the charging port so for most people are going to want to mount it with the tab forward Just slide it on your pick rail and it kind of clicks into place there on the slot. Now we'll uh, bring over our Mantis app, which you can download from uh, your uh, Google Play or I think you can get on Apple as well. And what we'll do, we'll start off here, we'll power up the Mantis X10 Elite. Once the green light's flashing, it's looking to sync up with the app. We click connect on the app. And it's first going to do calibration, and so the pistol needs to be setting on the table, not, you know, not holding it, just let it sit flat there. When it finishes cal calibrating, then you'll be kind of at your, uh, kind of on a home screen. And the first thing we'll need to do is go into settings and we'll set uh, from here we can choose whether it's a pistol or rifle and we can choose the model of the particular handgun that you have in this case is a Mossberg MC2C so I'll choose that choose whether you're primary left or right-handed and then uh, whether the the X10 Elite is mounted forward or backwards there's where you configure that and then also the mount location bottom top left or right so that's kind of your configuration settings right there so we've got this all set up ready to go uh, it's initialized got the app set up set up and our training laser installed so what what does the Mantis X10 Elite do well basically it measures movement of your muzzle just uh, it's, it's basically measuring the movement of your muscle before the trigger pull during the trigger pull and then during your follow-through after the trigger break I suspect it's tracking movement the whole time but then and it's constantly uh, detecting this movement but then when it detects a trigger break I believe it's pulling in a certain amount of milliseconds before the trigger break and a certain amount of milliseconds during the trigger press and then a certain amount of milliseconds um, after the trigger break. And uh, Matt, this is able to detect very minute movements of the pistol that you as a shooter or even an instructor, an observant instructor is not going to better detect. Now when we go to the uh, to our app here we'll see on the and we got our training section we can go to training and we see it's got a selection of drills here uh, it's got open training uh, and the mantis benchmark training and uh, compressed surprise break primary hand only support hand only along with some other drills including hostage holster mag reloads and and a recoil meter now the way to kind of really work through this is go down to the bottom where it has the courses and the first course is Mantis X introduction which is just kind of a really quick high level overview kind of what I'm doing here right at the start of this video and then you've got your basement basic marksmanship which is going to basically work you through and tr kind of walk you through each some of these uh, select uh, training drills and then at, once you complete basic marksmanship you'll get a nice little patch sent to you from 
from Mantis. And then you can progress to the advanced marksmanship. And again, once you complete that, they'll send you another nice little uh, patch for your achievement. And then once you, uh, then you can progress to the elite marksmanship training. And uh, again, you can earn a patch for that as well. Now on the history page, we can go through and see um, uh, all of our sessions, our shooting sessions, or all of our drills that we've gone through, kind of our history of what we've done on this app. If you're going to share your Mantis X10 Elite with uh, friends or family, uh, I suggest uh, have them create their own login on the Mantis site and so so that you can keep their data separated separate from your own and if they want to they can download the app on their own phone and still sync up with this particular device and and try it out now in the app you can view you know each of these uh, shooting sessions these training sessions for example if I go into um, you can go into the Mantis benchmark here, which where I got a 96 uh, average, I guess, average score. And we can see the data for each shot uh, and also the amount of time between shots. Uh, average, and then it gives you some information as to how well your hold was, how steady it was. Um, and then on over, you can see individual data points for each shot you can see kind of a graph and on this graph we'll zoom in on this one the blue line is the period leading up to the trigger break the yellow line is when you started to I guess press that trigger and you're squeezing it and then the red line is after the break now you can review one of the things that these each one of these will do the, as you're going through the training session or as you look through each the history you can get uh, like information on basically figure out what your problems are and that point that one it says great shooting let's switch to um, let me show you a instance here where I did open training this was during the uh, elite uh, course Elite Marksmanship course, and uh, this open training is where you had the, the the challenge, and this one of the challenges you had to do to complete the Elite Marksmanship course was to shoot 50 sh shots and score a average of 93 or better in the open training 53 shot 50 shots. If we go into here, we can see uh, we'll go to our data here. I'm going to scroll over shot 25 because I want to show you something here here is a uh, occasionally or actually just twice with the Mossberg MC2C I had an issue where uh, when cocking the striker and uh, the app or I guess the the uh, Mantis X10 Elite read that as a trigger break and it uh, gave me like this uh, a pretty horrific score. I see here at the shot score is 39.5. So I thought for sure uh, that was going to destroy my average. I had to really uh, kind of step up and really shoot really well for the rest of the string to just squeak out the the 93.1 that I needed uh, to complete that challenge. Now the app is one way to access all your data, but you can also access it through the internet and via a web page. You can go to train.mantisx.com and uh, create your uh, user account there and uh, and then from here you can view basically all your history kinda like what you can do within the app just in a kind of a bigger format. And some interesting stats here we can see a kind of a breakdown by different pistols and uh, there's kind of a what they call a constellation view where basically these collections of data these little dots each dot the smaller the dot is the better my score was on that session the dots on the outer ring are the uh, 
older sessions, the closer you get to the center are the newer sessions. Now for most people this is uh, all you need to make use of the Mantis X10 Elite. Now there are some kind of what we'll call advanced advanced functionality. Now one of the cool things you can do from here is you can uh, download data from the web page down to work with it on your local computer. You can download a, a sessions CSV file or a shots CSV file. These are comma separated value files. Now these files are actually what can be opened up. These files can be opened up if you have Excel you can use that but you can also just open them up in a notepad and that's uh, just a text file Now, one thing you do is you can take the, these two files that you've downloaded and upload them, or we can open them in an Excel spreadsheet or whatever spreadsheet you have, or you can upload them to Google Sheets. And uh, uh, I kind of like to look at, start at from the what I call the sessions download. And the sessions download is basically all, all of the sessions you've done, all the shooting sessions or all the drills. And so here's uh, one session, this is the most recent one, which was an open training with uh, 15 shots fired. I was shooting left-handed. And it tells me the name of the firearm, my, my ultimate uh, average score. Now if I look at this uh, ID number, I can actually go find that over in the actual, the detail file on the shots for, for that particular session. And so here is basically I've got highlighted the, the group of shots that are related to that, that session ID. And I can see each shot, what my score was on each one of the shots in that session. Uh, then it also gives you the problem, like in some of them, hopefully you see lots of the great shots. But then it also tells you on this one, say I had an 86 on that one, and it was suggesting that I was slapping the trigger. This one suggests I'm pushing it forward a little too much. This one suggests that I'm tightening my grip during the uh, trigger firing sequence and on and on and on. So it gives you advice and there's actually in the app itself as it gives you that advice it actually has little like videos or little images you can look at where it explains in detail what you need to do to fix that. And then it's what they call the split, which is basically the amount of uh, seconds between each shot, I do believe. So on a lot of these drills, it's not really timed. You can take as much time as you like. So that's why these have kind of high split times there. And that's where you can go in on the app and uh, select a particular in your history. Go to a pick particular session and you can click on edit and we can add a like a note to that particular session. So if I want to say in this session I was say uh, shooting from the hip, I can type in hip. Uh, or if and once you do that, once you type something in there, it'll actually put little shortcuts on this little bar here. So I can actually just click that and it'll drop that in there for me real quick. And that's something so I can kind of separate some detail on different shooting techniques. So like in my case, I'm looking at hip shooting, point shooting, and then just standard, uh, maybe you call it uh, modern technique, two-handed, isosceles, you know, thumbs forward, front sight focus, all that stuff, standard technique. Now, if you're shooting, uh, say, uh, with rifles, you might. You could, this would be where you could actually put in, like, I'm um, shooting prone, sitting, kneeling, uh, you know, standing. So anyway, once you've, uh, and then when you download uh, the CSV files that have those notes in it, you'll just see that there's just notes column in your in the uh, sessions file and I can scroll down here and somewhere down here there we go we've got some data right here that says hip so I was hip shooting for the, uh, that's those sessions so anyway, I found this very valuable into developing my pistol marksmanship skills 
uh, I'm, I'm going to be using this to do testing and one of the things we're going to be testing is uh, we're going to be looking at the Applegate what I call the Applegate grip ratio or Applegate grip index where I basically on different pistols measure the the length of the grip versus the width of it and do a ratio of you know length length to width and so this pistol the Mossberg MC2C is about a two to one ratio now other pistols that have more of a, a either square blocky or kind of a roundish oval grip kind of like maybe the Walther PPQ M1 uh, has a much lower grip ratio and my hypothesis is that with the uh, the longer flat grip you'll have better pointability of the pistol especially for point shooting it's going to you're going to better get a more consistent grip and just by indexing your finger and pointing at your target you're going to have a more consistent alignment with your arm and the pistol whereas if you have just a round grip uh you know you're kind of it could easily get off by just you know minute amounts and my you know minutes of angle difference can make a uh, you know relatively significant difference on the target your point of impact now one thing a lot of people miss on when they when they start shooting pistols is they think okay I've got my got my pistol I got my sights on the target and I pull the trigger and I've got those sights right on the target and I pull the trigger and the hits are not where I was aiming at and I know I had those sights on the target well that's because aiming does no good is if your operation of the trigger and it's just minute amounts most people can't even detect it even instructors observing you are going to except for the most gross errors are not going to pick it up and just so just tiny minute amounts as you pull that trigger back it's pulling your sights on off of the target and that's uh uh, Rob Lethem, uh, you know, like championship competitive shooter, he has a terrific video on um, talking about how aiming, aiming is useless. And it's kind of a provocative video title because he doesn't mean that aiming is necessarily useless. What he means is it's, it's useless if, if your trigger control is crap. And for most people it is a lot of people that shoot right-handed will sh pull the the shots to the low and to the left and then people that shoot left-handed pull low and to the right and so that's one of the reasons like I talk about one of my other videos is if you're in a gunfight with you know some hoodlums which who typically do not have good um, firearms training not particularly skilled at it uh, they might think they are but oftentimes they're just uh, pretty shallow students of the of the of the craft uh, so if you're facing a threat that's shooting at you and you, they're shooting right-handed and their shots are most likely to go low and to the left you do not want to when you move off the X you don't want to move into their low and to the left their, where, what's their low and left you want to move over to your left which puts you off to the right of them so that anyway it's just a and for left-handed shooters would be the opposite so you'd have to observe that and make a comparison now for me it was I found it uh, while the the different challenges the courses here for the basement marksmanship advanced marksmanship and elite marksmanship the challenges that you had to go through to complete each of those levels uh, you know the basic was for relatively simple and easy and not too challenging but uh, they, uh, they do get pretty difficult and I think uh, it definitely is easier for someone who is uh, comfortable shooting left and right handed I shoot equally well or actually suck the same basically left and right handed and I think that made it maybe easier for me to get through these courses than some people uh, that uh, you know some parts of this may be a bit of a challenge but uh, well that's the whole point of it isn't it is to have that challenge and develop your skill set and I think this Mantis X10 Elite combined with a training laser is just an amazing toolkit in improving your marksmanship
Now, I've not tried this yet on a rifle, but I'm definitely going to. Uh, highly recommend it. To, uh, I mean, in this age when ammo is expensive and hard to get, a training laser is about the price of a box of 9mm ammo. And then this kit is, uh, you know, I've, I basically, with this training laser, have shot, uh, or with this Mantis X10, since I've got it, I've uh, put 2,600 dry fires through it. And, uh, and some live fire, too. And uh, so, but anyway, probably about, uh, of that, probably 2,200 was dry fire. And so, imagine if I did 2,200, you know, I actually live fired for 2,200 rounds. Uh, that's quite a bit of money in today's ammo prices. That'd be probably almost a thousand bucks. And you can, you know, for a quarter of that price, you can get one of these and, and develop your skills in the comfort of your home. Highly recommend it. This is Mark Laughlin speaking for the Ambidextro Gunfighter. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.